Layla's primary giver is her mother. She has cerebral palsy, but her family never treated her as someone with a disability. Bye, bye, bye. Still bye. They are letting her do things on her own and even goes to school and can communicate with other people. Yes, definitely. You can come to my house. But this was not an easy environment for her since she wanted to be seen as a normal person rather than someone with a disability. We knew that his compositions and lyrics a disabled musician, so we had to give the award to her college. This made her feel upset when a boy she admires somehow doesn't feel comfortable with her. Wait for us to wait for us. Yes, we It affects Layla and this made her decide to get a scholarship in New York. She doesn't love me. She calls me daughter. Her mother loves her so much that she was the one who took care of Leila's scholarship and be with her in New York to make sure she will be okay. Hi! Mama! Do you want to go, right? Yeah! Leila has been so open to her mom that she tells her she likes a guy but seems doesn't like her back. Leila is somehow curious when it comes to having relationship or how it feels to be loved by a guy. While attending her first class in New York, a guy was asked to be her caregiver and this made Leila feel attracted to him. While strolling the streets of New York, Leila comes to see a crowd rallying against the police. She then met Kanum, a blind woman who is an activist. I'm Layla. Kanum. Kanum, this is I, my mom. Hello, I. Hello. They immediately created a bond since they both know how it feels to be like an outcast in the society. Move towards the higher end. Close your eyes and see better. Kanum agreed to help Layla and be her caregiver while Layla's mom is not around and went back to India. Being blind did not become a barrier for Kanum to discover how beautiful Layla is by touching her face. Layla somehow begins to feel the attraction towards Kanum, especially when they spend time swimming together. They also spent one night at a club and they both feeling so comfortable with each other that Kanum was even dancing in front of Layla. That night, they both feel the tension. Kanum begins touching Layla and suddenly kisses her. Layla somehow feeling uncomfortable but then gives in and they made love for the first time. Leila's mom needs to go back to India and so Leila has to spend more time with Kanum and they hid their relationship from Leila's family. They spent their time together helping each other even doing things as a couple. Leila's family invites Kanum to spend her summer with them in India. Hey, India is coming with Leila. I want to come with Leila, but I don't invite Leila to invite Leila. Leila asks Kanum how and when did she knew that she was gay and how did her family react? रोज़ रोज़ झूठ बोलो और घंटों उसे गिल्ट में मरो। फुल ऑन ड्रामा हुआ। पहले मार पिटाई, फिर इमोशनल ब्लैकमेल। लेला एंड कैनून स्पेंड देर समर विद लेलस फैमिली इन इंडिया। दे समहाउ मैनेज टू सिल हैव रोमांटिक मोमेंट्स टुगेदर डिस्पाइट हाइडिंग देर रिलेशनशिप। Layla tries to talk to her mom and comes out to her that she is bisexual. Somehow her mom did not understand what she is trying to say. मैं क्या कम बाय हूँ? हाँ। लेला tells her mom that she loves Kanum and that she is her girlfriend. Bye, thank you. Bye क्या? I love Kanum. I Kanum my girlfriend. Her mom eventually accepted Layla's relationship with Kanu but has come to reveal she is sick. This made Layla so heartbroken since she is so close to her mother. 
Layla tells Kanum that she cheated on her with Jared and that made Kanum so mad and even tells Layla that she is just using people for her convenience. You use me. Take care of you. Jab tak koi boyfriend nahi mil jata tab tak Kanum hi sahi hai, right? No. That's not fair. Layla was so devastated when her mom passed away. Kanum never left Layla's side despite knowing Layla cheated on her. It's time for Kanum to go back to New York, but Layla tells her she needs to be with her family. Layla hugs Kanum and said their goodbyes. It was a big adjustment for Layla's family ever since her mom left. But this only made Layla realize that she can do better and that she can make a difference. She decides to focus more on herself and even spends time alone but happy drinking her favorite margarita with a straw. Want more queer content? Then please subscribe and hit the notification bell.